Early this morning, the roof of the Walton building, which houses an insurance company on Main Street in Beckley, collapsed. Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders brings us the latest as three buildings on that block have been ruled condemned. Approximately 3.30 this morning, uh, we were dispatched for a structural collapse on Main Street. Uh, it turned out to be the Walton's building, uh, partially collapsed uh, roof line. No one was in the historic building at the time, but the collapse certainly did some structural damage. This afternoon, the city sent out a local project engineer to take a look. My concern is that the roof has also separated from the front wall of the building. So the front wall of the building is now is not attached at the top. Walls need to be supported at the top and the bottom. So Sadowski recommended that the top of the brick wall needs to come down as he fears it will eventually collapse. He believes it was a combination of the building's old age and the recent heavy rainfall that led to the caving in of the roof. And that collapse also left the Wells Fargo building, the Stephen New building, and the Jane Care building behind it with damage as well. This is a three-story building. The other buildings that surround it are two stories. And that debris from the Walton building, the three-story building, has fallen on both of the adjoining buildings. So now the owners of the buildings will have to contact their insurance companies who will likely send in structural engineers to do a thorough investigation to see if the lower levels of the buildings can still be saved. But for now, it's looking like that section of Main Street will remain closed, and some say it could be days. Reporting in Beckley, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch. And city officials were trying to coordinate with the owners of the nearby buildings to arrange times for them to come in and get the stuff they need out of their offices in the condemned buildings.